Is that fair? Do you reckon? Would you guys ta- favor Teo right now? Well, I mean, this Over is a G. nice little segue to uh, what should we call a spontaneous ranking segment. And uh, we love these uh, on the Cycling Dane. We haven't done it here on the Echelon Cycling Podcast yet. So we might as Still well now. do it here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you're listening on the podcast, uh, we will, of course, let you know the contenders that we're going to throw into the mix here. We've got Hugh Carthy, Jack Haig, Leonard Kemner, because someone wanted him, Joao Almeida, Geraint Thomas, Rigoberto Oran, Alexander Vlazov, Theo Gegenhardt, Remco Evenepoel, Timo Pino, and Primoz Roglic. So we might as well start straight away. Yeah, Hugh Carthy, former podium finisher at the World Toast Panel. Oh, why do you have to say those words? This is the thing where you and I agree on this. But we're all living still off of that Hugh Carthy Anglaroo stage win, thinking that this is the level that he's at all the time, when it's not true. It's not. The fact of the matter is, the last few Juris he's taken place, take a part, he hasn't cracked the top five. He just, like, at best, it's a top ten. If you put it at top five, I'm going to flip. He has been top ten before, yeah. What do you reckon, Ewan? Is top ten fair, or do you want him in flop? Hugh Carthy's mid as hell, not going to lie. He's he's destined for an eighth the 10th place in GC. He's, yeah, he kind of occupies that spot that Alexei Lutsenko is really good at getting at the Tour de France. He's the Lancastrian Alexei Lutsenko. <laughs> Inter, <laughs> inter-county uh, rivalry showing itself. Okay, so Jack exactly. Haig, again. Oh, gosh. Another podium finisher at the Vuelta exactly. Espana. Exactly. And yet, yeah, he's literally on the same plane as Carfi. The fact that Carfi did really well in that one Vuelta, and then Haig did a similar-ish feat, but probably just more consistent <laughs> performances in another welter. But Haig isn't talked about as much. It's just that it's just says words to me. The fact of the matter is, is that Haig and Carthy are pretty much just going to be battling like 7th to 10th, more than likely. All right, next, Lena Kemner. This was you, Ewan. You wanted him on here. And I want to put Flop, to be honest. Flop? He, what? He's good at taking stages. He's never really want, ridden a GC. I don't know. It's tricky. Plus, they also have Lazov in that team. Are they really oh. going to go... A two-pronged yeah. attack. Is he going to do GC for, like, two weeks? Going to get to that final week and then just, like, crack? And then he's going to drop down to a very Leonard Kemner 15th in GC? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fair flop. But he'll probably pick up a stage winner, too, along the way. Joao Almeida uh, almost got a podium last year. Top five. Not podium? Nah. I feel like Joao Almeida is going to be one of those riders who never gets a podium, but he's always there. Like, who was on the po- on the podium last year was 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 who? Because Almeida wasn't beating him. It was Hindley, Carapaz, and Lander. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Al- Almeida got COVID in the final week of racing. He did, but wasn't he in fourth place at the point he where was, he got COVID? He was, but he COVID? had the possibility of moving up to third. And he had a but very weak team as well. Yeah, but the thing is, my point is that he wasn't getting on the podium when it was like lander who was on the podium how is he going to be dethroning like i'd say arguably the shiro start list this year is a little step up from last year's yeah fair enough garen thomas oh flop <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of real no, <laughs> they, they, but he wasn't that good at tour of the Alps. he wasn't no. there goes that podcast collaboration the fact of the matter is ineos will now just be like we're now working for Teo. that's literally what we're gonna say okay rigoberto run Top ten. Top ten. He's so he's also top gonna, gonna gonna be in that sort of seventh to tenth place marker. That's what Iran yeah. does so well is getting in top tens at Grand Tours without making any impact at all. Yeah. And he'll get that. If there was a category which is literally will finish tenth, that's your man. Bang <laughs> on tenth. Did finish tenth in two thousand twenty one. Exactly. That's true. where he's going. I mean, he's a former runner-up twice. That was almost 10 years ago. Yeah, that's true. That was 10 years ago. (laughs) Wait, you were 2000... Yeah, 2013, 2012. And he wasn't even supposed to be the leader. It was supposed to be Bradley Wiggins. That's true. It's There are parallels here. He's supposed to be working for the for the one tour wonders from the United Kingdom, and instead he's going to do better than them. I mean, Bradley Wiggins, that's a sidetrack. He did finish second place in the world retrospectively now. It's true. Bro got beaten by Chris Froome. He wasn't even supposed to be. He wasn't even supposed to be the leader. Anyway, Sasha. <laughs> that was oh, the gosh. segue. <laughs> that was the segue. He's just, he's just, he's a, in his own world. I, I, I know where you was put him. But... <laughs> no, he's he's been mid as hell this year. Not gonna lie. Vlasov, he finished. Didn't he finish fourth at all last year? Fifth. But he, he, he crashed at the Giro. That's true. Probably, all right, top five. 
top five. I'm, I'm saying top five. So but who's, I'm willing to who's your podium? So who's your podium? I'm Kervoklich Taya. Oh, shoot. Okay. Fair enough. Which kind of just spoils the. the yeah, next you people. just spoil I'm sorry. It. <laughs> we said the names at the start. Tail Gagnon, you really think he's going to podium? Podium. Podium. Really? Yeah. Well, the other option here that we have is Pino, and that's not happening. I mean, we can change around <laughs> once we got in. Remco Venepol to win. Remco to win. Pino, flop. I'm uh, sorry. It's happening. to win. Are we happy with this? No. Sasha Vlasov should be on the podium. I'm sorry, I, I've been seeing it all season. I know, I know he's been flopping all season, but I am on board the Sasha Vlasov hype train. Bora have such a good team. Bora have their tactics on lockdown. We saw that early this. Well, we saw that at the Tour of the Alps. Bora are going to be there. I'm ready for Sasha Vlasov to be Remco Avedipol's kryptonite once again. I was thinking, what is the success rate of Tour of the Alps winners going on to do well at the Giro? I think it's quite bad. So last year was Roman Bardet who went on to win it. The year before was Simon Yates, Pavel Sivakov the year before, 2018 Thibaut Pino. I mean, it's not filling me with a lot of confidence here. It's, a, it's not the greatest correlation, I will admit. Yeah. I will you... compromise and we can swap Vlasov and Teo. I'm happy I'm happy to keep Teo on podium. I want Joao finish... on the podium. They'll finish in the Joao, same spot and hold hands on the podium. You think Joao... of, who's, who's the better time trial list of those three? Sasha. Joao Almeida Joao. has been fully... Joao, Joao is in his TT mid. flop era at UAE. I'm sorry. He's, he's fully mid-time trialist at UAE. Uh, at Quick Step, he was God. UAE <laughs> did something to my boy Zhao and his TT, and I don't like it. He now so finishes 12th. What's up with that? Okay, so we're, all, we're stuck in a rut here. Everyone's backing someone. Well, we can have we can have them both there, right? They could, could they all, all be three, fighting? All for, three are... All three they, on the podium. They are all well, technically got, podium contenders. We've only got three guys occupying four positions from sixth to tenth place. Can we not have two people hypothetically on our podium and let the road decide? <laughs> they finished exactly the same. Exactly. It's the happened like, before. The likely thing is that Roglic actually DNFs or DNS is stage 18 or something like that. That's, seems, yeah, that seems pretty fair. on brand, let's face it. He'll probably bin it. He is the new Garrett Thomas. Yeah, that's true. Should we put more in? Should we put Aronsman in here? No. Aronsman will finish 11th. Right. It's just okay. a straight fact. So we're going to move Blazov up and then. Okay. Yeah. Because you two have Almeida hate, we'll leave him in top five. It's but... not hate. It's, I like Almeida. Okay. I swear. Constructive criticism, let's call it. I'm just trying but... to think of other people. Chicone's going to lose a whole year in the TTs. <laughs> like... yeah, that's true oh my goodness it's such a bad decision to send him here <laughs> and like the only thing is the only stages that he'll be able to be competitive in from a breakaway are in like the final week so it's like oh great that's gonna ruffle some feathers that's what that's gonna do 